show show B. Hello, Lizzie. You gonna tell me all about it? How mama shutting you down? Hello, Lizzie. Hello, show me. Hey, babies. Hey, mama. There is a big hole in this food bowl. Your food used to be. Come on, kid. If you play your cards right and be a little patient, Mama may just lay down and let you nurse. Yeah. I just woke up from a spontaneous nap and I feel like I want to still be asleep. I haven't fed Lizzie any wet food in the past 24 hours because I wanted to encourage her to eat kibble. And that she has been doing. I would prefer that she start drinking. That's one of the things I'm going to work on during this visit. If I go wake up. She's acting like mama dried up. Oh, jeez. 
cheese. Yeah, I'm letting her nurse because make sure I want her to be hydrated. And that's what I got the syringe for to help get get her making sure she knows how to lap up water. Hmm. <sighs> be a little hard for her to see the water she sticks her nose in it, nose in and trying to sniff it makes her sneeze so I was like just dripping the water surface so she could see where it's at She's in a she's in a milk frenzy right now. <laughs> is she? Is she? Is she? You like that, huh? Is that good? That's what this was here. Yeah, that was just water, straight up from the water water bowl. Okay, Mama, do your kitten flattening thing. Mama's weaning her, so she smacks, growls, baps, kicks, hisses, runs away from 
all that sort of stuff, and that's normal. What about a shorter bowl? Can't get much shorter than that without becoming like a saucer. Mama's playing behind me. Right here. She'll lick the water off my finger. I'm not going to put a saucer down because that's just asking for a mess. Yeah, this little tick kitten that doesn't look where she's going, and she goes, Meow. And ever see, ever see where a jet is flying low of a water, and there's like huge plumes of water, you know, and shooting up in the wake? Yep. Let's go ahead and do the weigh in. She weighed 444 grams yesterday, gaining a mass of 36. And she's just under a pound on the imperial scale. She gained a little over one and a quarter ounces. She's playing with the syringe. Four hundred and twenty-two. That is a loss, and that is perfectly fine for you freak out. That is fine. That is totally fine. There's nothing to worry about. This is very common expected during the weaning process. She lost 22 grams. She had a, such a massive gain yesterday, but I am not force feeding her a lot of food because I want her to get used to the kibble. And mama's weaning her, so this is expected. This is fine. 
Anybody freaks out, go take a chill pill. Cause I don't care if she lost weight. I, lo I only care if she lo loses weight like three days in a row. You just told everybody, I had an epic poop. So, butter off. Water time. In fact, she has one of the best weight trends that I could possibly ask for. Are you playing, Mama? Did you just nose boop everyone? Yeah, this is my 28th litter of kittens that I've gone through since I started the kitten cam. And then all the ones before that. This is normal. How do you check hydration in cats? Basically, take the scruff of the neck, lift up, and then release. It should forward down like that. If it goes slowly, or it starts to go slowly over time, this is something you probably should do like once a week or so in a healthy cat. Plus, but as they get older, it'll slow down too. Observe how much they pee. I can tell you if they're getting enough liquid, too. But if they pee a lot, that could be a sign of kidney issues. <laughs> you can always ask them, Are you drinking enough there? Huh? Part of the game yesterday was me feeding her, you know, one and a third cans of wet food in the past day. Shelby's teaching the kitten to sit still while I bathe you. That's one of the reasons why I brought the syringe in to try to, you know, to also help try to get it to um, drink the water, but just to supplement during this during this process to make sure that she stays hydrated.
Apple on Kitty. Lizzie's learning to attack Mama. Yeah, ask your vet with you know to show you the best you know during your bed appoint appointments to ask. To show you the best ways of telling hydration level in your cat because at different ages there's different methods that's so that's good their gum should be pink and look moist for example I think that's a food bowl, not a water bowl. I was like, with her not being interested in drinking the water, it tells me that she's had enough. She's not thirsty. Watch out, girl. You're not tucking your tail. See? Told ya. Should call you Chewy.
Okay, I need to go. I'll be back later. Lizzie is doing wonderful. Wonderful. And that's even with the weight loss. Wonderful. So no worries, no fussing, no dreading. She is doing wonderful. Repeat after me. All is fine. All is well. I will not worry. I will listen to Foster Dad John. I will optionally wave my arm like this and feel kind of silly doing it. And then I go poop. That's not why I'm leaving, by the way. Gotta take my son to work. So enjoy the kittens. Have a nice day.